going to change and clean the MAF sensor today um, on A30 Yaris. So to do that, you can start off by disconnecting the battery if you want to, because sometimes these can be a bit sensitive. But to get access to it, we can't just unscrew these because of the throttle body there. So undo these two and pull that away. And we have three 10 millimeter bolts, one, two, and three. So just loosen those off. one out it's two out and that's three out and then we've got the connector here which you just press this in and then put it out That's out. I've got these connectors here just because they're attached to this, so press that in and pull out. Like that. And then you can squeeze this together and pull that out. And then the same with the one behind it. And then this can just be pulled out, just carefully put it upwards. And that can be moved out of the way. And then you can undo the two screws to clean it if you just want to clean it which i'm going to show you how to do that or you can remove it and clean it so i'll show you how to do that as well so that way if you're replacing it you can still take it in and out and make sure that this is still seated properly so i just get a phillips head screwdriver and then we're just going to undo these two screws and just loosen them all the way out. So that's out, make sure you don't lose them. And do the same with the other one. Put that one up too. And now you can remove it from the housing like that and now we're going to give them a little spray the user mass airflow sensor cleaner we're going to spray in here and in in here and in here so don't scrub it or anything just spray it and let it dry and clean on its own and then do the same on the other side let that dry out on its own. don't know if you can see inside there's that shiny bit. Those two pieces. That's what we're trying, trying to clean because they're part of what makes the sensor do all the readings. So once it's clean and dry or if you've got a new one then put it in. Then just get it in and you hear the little clip as it slots in because of the rubber seal and then put the screws in once you've got them in like that then you can just start doing them up That's 
it and then just get it and then line up the hole the throttle body and then just push it on and it should line up with all the screw holes as well and that's it and you can feel it when it rests in place and then just get the screws and start putting them in so make sure you do it to start them by hand so they don't cross thread and then you can start doing them up ratchet once you're happy with them they don't need to go too tight and then just redo the connectors so put the pipe in the back do the one for the front last one here and you can reconnect the battery and then just line it up there's two tabs one here and one here and there's two prongs at the bottom just put them over and tilt it forwards and then clip those in and then you're done if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want more